Okay, everybody. At this point, we can assume if you watch the um, other tutorial videos, and, and I bet you have, um, that you know how to actually um, load your SD card into a single card reader as well as a 5-in-1 or a multi-card reader. That you know once it's loaded in how to find a USB port on a computer, whether it's on the front, whether it's on the back, whether it is low, whether it is in the middle, but you can find it. Now all you have to do is once you plug your single card reader with your SD card inside of it into your USB port, you got to figure out what happens next. And that's what this tutorial is about. Finding your presentation and viewing it once you've got it loaded into the computer. All right, what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and plug the single card reader into the USB port because I wanted you to see what pops up. Now, in Windows XP and probably Windows Vista, you're going to get a box like this oftentimes. And, and this makes it really easy. If you'll just go down to uh, the line where it says open folder to view files, it takes you right to it. And once you're here, you click on the SD video. Uh, I hear some of you out there going, duh. But, you know, we want to state the obvious stuff too. Double click on SD video. Go to the PRG program file. And there, in this particular case, you'll see two movie files. You may have one, or if you've given five presentations, you'll see five movie clips. But in this particular case, I'm going to click on one. Now, I'm going to warn you, when I click on it, you are apt to see absolutely nothing but you might hear the sound in the background I don't know it's kind of hard to say uh, it's because of the screen recording software that I'm using uh, when you actually do this on the computer either at school or at home or at your boyfriend's or girlfriend's or your parents house you will see your video and provided your speakers are turned up and your volumes up you're gonna hear the audio so here we go we're gonna double click on it and it's accessing it and it is playing it and you can hear the that is the audio of my video. It's actually me in my house the night before I'm supposed to have this tutorial video up and running. So, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take that down. And that's, that's it as far as that approach goes. Now, you may find that uh, you will not get that box to pop up if you've already placed your uh, single card reader into your USB port. So if that's the case, what you wanted to be able to do is to find it another way. So let's pretend you've turned on your computer, your USB slot is filled either with a single card reader or a multi-card reader. What you want to do is go up to my computer, double click on it, and you'll see here just, you know, a half dozen or seven different folders. You may see more on your computer, you may see less. Uh, most of them can be ignored. Files stored on this computer. I've got two folders here, but you know what? doesn't matter. You could have 10, you could have none. We are ignoring them. We don't need them. Hard disk drives, same thing. I've got two, C and a D. You might have one. You might have three. Again, it doesn't matter. You can ignore them. And then what we're interested in here is devices with removable storage, and this is important. Over here, you'll see this thing that looks like a, either a DVD or a CD, and that's exactly what it is. So you see here, on my computer, it's a DVD slash RW drive. And on your computer, it might be a CD-R, a CD-RW, a CD plus minus RW. It doesn't matter. We don't use it. What we're interested in over here is the removable disk. That is your single card reader. So let's double click on it. And you'll see the very same three files that we saw uh, when that first box pop popped open, and we, we viewed those files. We're going to again go to SD video. Nobody say duh. And between these two folders, manager info and PRG001, that's, we want the PRG001, double click on it. And set up a little bit differently, but it's still the same files. Uh, and you'll find your movie clip. In most cases, it will be movie0001 for your first one. Movie 002 for your second one, and so on and so forth. So we'll double click on it. And it's going to come up just like the last time, and there's the audio. Hi, everybody. This isn't actually a student giving a speech. It's actually me in my house. And again, the reason that you can't see it, but possibly can hear it, I don't even know for sure that you can hear it, is just uh, 
the, the way the screen recording software talks to the actual computer as it's playing the video. It just will not record the video and, and in some cases doesn't record the audio. It's just a shortcoming of the software. Again, when you do this at home or at school or at moms, dads, boyfriends, girlfriends, you will see your video, you will hear your audio, uh, provided of course you have speakers on your computer and that the volume is turned up. So anyway, that's it. All right, everybody. So what we know is that if you've got a single card reader, you can plug it into a USB slot and you can find your video and you can watch it. You might wonder, well, what if you're one of those very lucky people that's got a slot for an SD card in their laptop? Well, lucky you, I'm going to take you through very quickly uh, how it's different because it's not very different at all, just slightly. Uh, but before I do that very quickly, some of you might be wondering, well, might my home computer have one of these slots? And the answer is probably not. Not unless whenever you or your parents uh, custom ordered your computer, you you specially ordered it to be there. And you'd know that or your parents would know that if it was a special order. Otherwise, it's not going to be there. It's just not something you find standard on most home computers. So, all right, let's get to it. So you've got a laptop and you've got an SD slot. I'm going to plug mine in and let's see what happens. Once it's found, you can hear that the computer has found it and we get that same pop-up box. So again, if you click open folder to view files, you're going to see exactly the same thing as you saw when we had the single card reader in. So let's just uh, cancel that out just to do it the old fashioned way, which is assuming we don't get a box to pop up. We can double click on my computer. And you see that we get the same two folders that we ignore. We get the same two hard drives that we ignore. And we've got the same DVD or in your case, perhaps a CD player. We're gonna ignore it too. But over here, instead of it saying removable storage or removable drive, it literally says secure digital storage device with an SD logo and a little SD card. You double click on that and it's exactly the same as it was before. And I am not going to bore you by taking you through everything again, but just, just verbally, you go to SD video, then you pull up the PRG uh, one files, and then you click on your movie file that you want to watch and you're ready to go. And with that, that concludes this portion of the tutorial, which is how to find your presentation on your SD card and watch it. Now, what we didn't get to with this particular tutorial is, uh, is mounting up a 4-in-1 or a multi-card reader. It's going to be very similar. Um, it's not uncommon that when you see removable storage, if it's got four slots, it literally gives you four different drives. So you might get an F drive, a G drive, an H drive, and an I drive. But the only one that's going to, to have any content in it, uh, it's going to show that there's a card in it. Uh, and that would be the one that you would use. Unfortunately, I can't show that to you because I seem to have misplaced the ones I used in the tutorial video. I will uh, record, as soon as I find it, I'll record a tutorial and I will post it to this site uh, by the end of the week. So with that, that's all I have. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please see your instructor and pass it on to them. And if for any reason they can't help you out, they're going to put you in touch with me. With that, have a great semester. Good luck with your presentations. and Good luck finding your presentations on your secure digital disks. Thanks a lot and take care.